Anyang Haseyo German Kwechan Yimida and welcome back to another why did my brightness just go dark? I don't know. Okay. Welcome back to another video. I'm so sorry about that. So as you can tell I got my hair braided and it's been a while. Yes, I know. It's it's been quite a bit of time. But I can say that I am back with a video telling you how I learn Korean. And that's by the help of a couple of things. And number one thing that helps with this is the apps that I use. So what apps do I use? I use the app Learning Deer and write it Korean and also drops Korean Korean drops so those are the apps that I use to help me um, sometimes they do a little more harm than good but whenever that fails I just go to good old Pinterest and um, Korean speakers are probably like Pinterest what why and my only answer is because it gives me the phonetics and how to say it. And so, um, because my ta because I'm using my phone to record and my tablet does not have Pinterest, we're just gonna go with the things that I've downloaded from Pinterest, which I will be writing, like how I memorize them on this whiteboard. Where did my marker go? Oh, I found it. Okay. So I'll be writing them on that whiteboard to show you how I memorize and write my Korean. Um, we're gonna go with something... I don't think I have Anyang saved because I just remember it. I don't remember how to write it, but I do remember the words and I think that's why I don't have it on here. So we'll go with the word sorry, which is mian hasio. Mian hasio. And to write Korean, you you s hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off my thing. To write Korean, you start like here with this box which is makes that mm sound. So you start from you basically start like English, and then when you get to doing, I call them compound characters, that's probably not what they're called, you go here, you go here, then you go here. Yeah. You basically work from left to right. So, I go, sorry, mia, mian, ha, seo, and then I just write it. Box. L, not L. That's technically like. What did what did how did learning deer, um, say? It was like man. It was like box man. And then the circle is like. The circle like the. The little circle that is right that is the right here. It just basically means, it's a placeholder, actually. Yes, that's what it is. It's a placeholder. Just like in math, you have placeholders in Korean. And then, and then I'll just read the word that I have written. I will read that over and over again, and I'll say it. And I'll write it over and over again. That's how I learn Korean. That's how I learn... That's how I learn Korean. That's how I learn pretty much every language. That's how um, my Spanish teacher taught me to learn, taught me Spanish. So, um, a lot of you know I was in French classes back in Sherman, Texas. 
but I'm but I can I have retained nothing from that class. I mean absolutely nothing. My teacher taught me nothing because I was trying to tell her that my dyslexia does not pertain to words on the page. It pertains to the color of the letters and the color of the parchment. My particular dyslexia, which I will have to do an entire video over because dyslexia is a very broad sus sus subject. And um, so I'll do an entire video over how my dyslexia works. Also, if you guys want to know, this is kind of fascinating. My cup is a skull. I got it for, I think it was four or five dollars. But yeah, I got a skull cup from Walmart. It's amazing. I love it. And I guess that's it for this video. If you guys want to see more, please like, comment, subscribe for more. And also subscribe for other great content that I hope to achieve to have on this channel. Without further ado, goodbye!